I think it's probably best that I stay here today. But you've got an appointment with Dr Rochester this morning. You can't pass on that. He's top of his game. No one has been able to diagnose me in months, so why do you think he's any different? Maxine, you've fainted. Now, this could have something to do with your headaches you're having. You need to get checked out either way. I have told you that I'm not feeling up to it, so why do you keep pushing me? All right. If that's what you want, I'll come to the appointment. But I'm not having you cooped up in here all day. Let's get some breakfast, my shout. Maxine, I've been going over your files all night and I can't wait to get my hands on you. In the professional sense, I mean, you're not my type. Oh, didn't Damon tell you that we're not... We're dead chuff you're taking this on, aren't we, Max? Yeah. Thrilled. Oh, but we wouldn't want to waste any of your time. Trust me, you're not. I wouldn't agree to a coffee shop appointment for just any old patient, you know. You're a very special case. I told you, he's the man for the job. We just need to run some more tests at the hospital if you're up for it. How could I say no? What were you thinking? How dare you ambush me like this? It's bang out of order. But you didn't give me much choice. I never thought you'd fall for it the second time, to be fair. We need this. The sooner we know what we're dealing with, we can start to move on with our lives. I've booked you in for the MRI. You're getting the full MOT today. Uh, no, I, I can't. I'm super claustrophobic in tight spaces. It'll only take a few minutes. I mean, I'll be here the whole time. Let's take some more blood. Sure thing, boss. You can tell everything from a person's blood. It's like a window into their physiology. No, wait, I, I can't do this anymore. I am not a lab rat. I am a human being. There you are. I know it's a bit full on in there, but the doctors, they're only trying to help. That Dr. Rochester's bedside manner's like a serial killer. I told you, I didn't want to go through with this. You're acting like a spoiled kid. It's almost like you don't want to get better. Don't be ridiculous. I have to live with this day in and day out. You know, I would love to find a cure, to know that I'll be able to watch my daughter grow up. So, man up and get back in there. Okay. Maxine, you're the love of my life. And it's killing me watching you suffer, not knowing how much time we've got left. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And I want it to be decades, not months. I mean, we should have the chance to grow old together. I want that too, more than you know. But I just can't take any more of it in there. I'm proud of you today. It took real guts to go through all them tests again. Yeah, well, at least the hard bit's over now. And we'll know soon enough what we're dealing with. Whatever it is, I just need to know that you're gonna stand by us. Me and Minnie. Don't be soft. I'm in this for keeps. You're gonna wanna see this. You're an eager beaver getting those lab results back so soon. After a gold star from your know-it-all mentor. The blood doesn't match. The sample we took from Maxine the other week is a different blood type to the one we took today. What? We're going to be a total laughing stock when Dr. Rochester gets hold of this. How could this happen? I think the sample must have been switched somehow. My gut is telling me it was Maxine. I think she's faking it.